Morning in health headlines, although the rate's going down, cardiovascular disease remains the leading cause of death in the United States, which makes it a major health concern. Technology is advancing treatment and outcomes. Approximately every 40 seconds, an American will have a heart attack, many of them men. I was inside my, my bedroom and I felt a strong, a very strong pain that lasted maybe like 20, 30 minutes. And I did not call anyone. That was my first heart attack. I could have died that day, but I didn't. Paolo Hoffman was in his mid 50s when he suffered not one, but two heart attacks just days apart. He ultimately underwent a quadruple bypass, but not all cases require invasive surgery. Many patients with symptoms, but no overt evidence of heart disease wind up here in the cath lab at Memorial Healthcare's Cardiac and Vascular Institute. This is the place where we interventional cardiologists do our work. We like to see heart vessels, we like to see peripheral vessels, we like to see brain vessels. This ultimately allows our patients to receive the ultimate care. We do what we call functional assessment of the microcirculation, the little tiny VD vessels called arterioles and capillaries that we don't see in the angiogram is the target of our study. And because procedures are done through small incisions in the wrist, patients can recover quickly. The patients are walking out of the hospital two hours after the procedure is completed, even if they need to have stents. So yes, we restore that patient very, very fast to their regular activities. So the patients can go home, they can enjoy their lives, they can go back to work, they can go back to their activities without any limitations. But your best defense against heart disease is always a good offense, something Paolo is taking to heart. I feel like I was 30, 30 something years old. I don't feel I'm 60. Now the doctor says half of all men who die suddenly from a heart attack have no previous symptoms, which is why it's so important to understand the risk factors that could affect you, including family history and lifestyle factors like obesity, diabetes, hypertension and smoking.